Okay, guys, I wanted to show you what I do with my clippers after I'm done um, grooming all the boys. I take my blade off my clipper and I use this old toothbrush that I have and I take the toothbrush and try to get all the little hairs out of the blade and then these little crevices see a little big old whisker just fell out of there and then if, after I do that I'll also take my shot back and hold the blade and try to suck up any uh, hairs I may have missed I won't do that because it'll be loud on video And I take my other one too that I use. Do that. You can't see in the video, but there's a bunch of little hairs coming out of the blade. Okay, let me go use my shot back and try to get any hairs that are left. And I'll be right back. Okay, and then so once I use the shot back and I get any little hairs out that still may be left, I use this clipper oil. This one's by Andis. You can get this at PetSmart or Sally Beauty Supply. They may even sell it at Walmart, not sure. Then I just put a little bit across the blade on the front, a little bit on the back, and then I just let that stay on there. And I have a little container I keep my clipper in. It's got a couple little napkins from the probably Taco Bell. <laughs> then I just sit my uh, blades right in there. And I just let that oil sit on them until next time. And then what I do, uh, next time I groom them, I put these back on my clipper and let them run for a little bit so that oil um, works in with the blade. But I just let the oil sit on it until next time. Let me go wipe my hands and show you the rest. Okay, so then the main clipper part, I do the same thing. Take my little toothbrush and get all the hairs I can get out of there. As you can see, there's a lot of spots in there where hair can get. And doing this every time is going to make your clipper run better. It's, it's just taking care of it is going to help keep it in uh, better condition for a longer time. So after I do that, I um, take the shot back and then I shot back in there too. I'll be right back. So then I just put my little toothbrush in the container. And I also want to mention too, this is the Ultra Edge by Andis. That's what I use. And I just stick the clipper in there. And then I just kind of shove the wire in there. I don't want to coil it because I don't want to ruin the cord. And put my lid on. And it's all ready till the next time. I'll have all the links to all the supplies I use down below in the description box. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you guys later. Bye.